I'm Navid Chahabadi and we're here again for another interview. And before we start, I'm just letting you know you can follow me on NS underscore HS Basketball on Twitter for the most updated Canadian basketball news and everything that's going on with the prep players down in the state. And we're here with Xavier Rattan Mays and his mom, Marilyn. He's just down uh, in Toronto for four days doing some workouts before he has to go back to prep school. And we just caught up with him after a workout he just had. So you're playing at Christian Faith Academy down in North Carolina. How's that going? Um, how's your team looking? Who are the some players that you're playing with down there? Things are going well. Um, we just came back from Ohio the other week. Um, we lost both games, but we, we feel that we're getting better as a team. Um, practice has been going well. Um, we had a, we've, had a, we've had a lot of coaches coming in and out of the gym. Um, so things are going well right now. We're 19 and 10, and we have a big tournament coming up in Ohio. So now, what do your workouts look like? Do you guys have, do you go two days? Do you have, you practice every day? What, what, what's your schedule looking now? Well, at the that? beginning of the season, we were going on two days with our strength and conditioning coach, Coach Marcelli. Right now, we're just one practice every day, um, 6 p.m. Um, we go for about two and a half hours just working on plays and development, skill work, stuff like that. Um, for the team. There's this controversy going down in Canada. Kids shouldn't be going to prep school. If you're good enough, they'll find you in Toronto or in Ontario. Why'd you go to prep school? You being in grade nine, you're going to be spending your uh, all four years down in prep school. Why did you make this decision and how hard was it for you to make that decision? I just felt there's more opportunity down in the States. My dad is from Connecticut and I just feel that going down there is more opportunity. I want to be able to one day be able to buy my mom a big house. And, <laughs> and get her whatever she wants. Speaking of your mom that we're here with, you are a single mother. How hard is it having uh, younger kids and him going to the States? How hard has that been on you? How hard is the decision to let him go? It's, um, it was a hard decision to let him go, but I feel that it would better him um, to move on to the States, and he's up against much tougher competition. Um, my little guys really look up to Xavier, and they want to follow in the same footsteps as him. They're also involved with basketball. Um, so we felt as a family it was the best thing to do. X being down in prep school, uh, you've already gone almost a year through the experience. What advice do you have for parents out there that are on the verge of sending their kids down to prep school and are thinking, what are the pros, cons? What do you have to say to them? I think um, parents who are considering sending their kids abroad, I think it's the best thing. The reason I say that the younger they are as they get over, it's easier for them to adapt from a younger age opposed to going through high school here in Canada and then having to adapt to the American system in college. It's a much harder transition. I also think competition level. Um, I think everyone's goal to be a top basketball player is to play in America. Play so the best. Exactly. So you're going to be playing against all top um, prospects out in the U.S. I think his development, it, it doesn't really matter where, he's at, where he is, it comes from the person itself. Xavier's got very strong work ethic skills and very strong discipline, um, and he'll do what it takes to take it to the next level. And that's what's most important if you are focused on your goal, and I know how focused you are getting in practice every day, uh, getting your schoolwork done. Now, what are your goals? Do you want to play in the NBA one day if that's a goal for you, and uh, how's, what's, that going, what's going on with that? Well, first... I want to get my education, um, and if it means just going one and done, then that's what I want to do. But if I have to go all four years, then I'm willing to do that as well. Um, I would want to go to one of the big schools, um, Kentucky, UNC, Texas, one of those schools, one of those top schools. And um, I want to be able to help that team win a national championship. Um, from there, I want to go to the NBA and one day just be one of the best players I've played again. Please let the people out there know who's interested in your services right now, if you have any offers. Who are the schools that are talking to you right now? Um, schools that are talking to me right now are Texas, UNC, um, Penn State, USC, Marquette, um, and there's a few others that I don't know off the top of my head. Texas, Marquette, Kansas, Penn State, and um, Rhode Island. And there's a couple of other How do you like it playing with um, Mikhail McIntosh, KJ Keen, and Kevin Thomas, one big name everyone knows about right now? Well, playing with KJ and Mikhail, I've grown up with them since we were, since we were real young, so we clicked together. Um, Mikhail as well, we played on blues all throughout our whole basically career up until we left for school. Um, 
we were coached by Coach Mike, so we know how to play together. We know how to work with each other. Um, playing with KT, Kevin, um, took a little bit getting used to, um, but I feel that now we work well together. Um, he knows my spots, I know his spots, so I feel that we, when we're on the court, we make each other better. I look at NCAA school, you told me some of the schools that I've looked at you or I've offered you. Which school plays your kind of game, your tempo? Uh, let us know about that. Um, right now, I feel Texas and UNC. Um, I was watching UNC the other night playing against Duke, and at the point guard position, there he had the ball most of the time. And he, he creates for everybody else. Um, I feel that Texas is more of a freelance offense. Well, back home, Christian Fay, I just want to shout out baby bro my little brother Daniel, Daniel Johnson. Um, watch out for him, next up and coming. Um, superstar. I want to say what up to Ben. You know, I love you, boy. Um, just Mikhail, Kaza, Casey, Levy, um, Renee. I love all y'all.